Hey there, fitness fam. Buckle up, because today we're diving into the wonderful world of HIT, which stands for High Intensity Interval Training. We're talking the cream of the crop benefits that are backed by science and how to master this fitness game changer. Ever felt like those marathon cardio sessions are a snooze fest? Worse yet, pondered if you're just jogging in place on the weight loss journey because, well, everyone says cardio is king? Well, hold on to your gym shorts because we're about to flip that script. Imagine, just for a second, getting jaw-dropping results without watching the clock tick down eternity. Stick around. It's going to be a wild, sweat-filled ride with a few laughs along the way. Who knew getting fit could be this entertaining? All right, let's break it down. What exactly is HIT? Imagine it as the espresso shot of workouts. Short, intense, and guaranteed to wake you up. Picture this. You go all out in a burst of energy, like sprinting as if you're late for a meeting, for a brief spell. Then you take a breather or keep the wheels turning, but at a slower pace, think of it as catching your breath after spotting a sale sign in your favorite store. For example, you might sprint like your life depends on it for 30 seconds, then stroll around pondering life for another 30, doing this dance for about 10 minutes. Or get your jumping jacks on fast forward for 45 seconds, followed by 15 seconds pretending you're in a slow motion movie, repeating for a grand total of 12 minutes. Ever heard of Tabata? It's hit in a speed dating format. 20 seconds of giving it your all, followed by 10 seconds of wondering what just happened, circling back for around 4 minutes. These intervals aren't set in stone, they're more like guidelines. They can be as short as a New York minute, 10 seconds, or stretch up to a full minute, with the entire ordeal wrapping up anywhere from a power-packed 4 minutes to a sweat-soaked 20. You can hit it up with almost anything that gets your heart racing. Treadmill sprints, pretending you're in a cyclone on the fan bike, wrestling with battle ropes, rowing as if you're escaping from Alcatraz, kettlebell swings, leaping squats, or burpees that make you question your life choices. The key is to push hard during the go time and either keep moving, do the antsy pants dance, or just chill during breaks. Now why would you subject yourself to this? Aside from the sheer joy of mixing pain with pleasure, science gives HIT a big thumbs up. It's not just another fitness fad, there's solid evidence that this method packs a punch in the fitness department. Stay tuned as we dive into the juicy benefits and why HIT might just be the workout hero you never knew you needed. First up on the HIT parade of HIT benefits, it's a bona fide time saver. Let's face it, the most popular tune on the Why I Can't Workout chart is the classic No Time Blues. You've heard it all before, too swamped, the gym's too far, or my personal favorite. I could have gone to the gym, but then I found this really interesting spot on the wall to stare at for an hour. If you're someone who finds the 24 hours in a day more like a suggestion than a reality, HIT could be your fitness soulmate. Forget about those marathon cardio sessions where you jog, bike, or elliptical at the pace of a leisurely stroll through the park. HIT is like condensing your workout into a shot of espresso, short, intense, and surprisingly effective. So for all you time strap folks, HIT is like finding extra hours in your day, but for sweating it out efficiently. Benefit numero dos, no gear, no problem. That's right, with HIT, you can ditch the fancy equipment and still get a killer workout. Imagine being able to get fit anywhere, your living room, a hotel room, or even your backyard. It's like having a gym in your pocket minus the actual gym. This is perfect for those days when getting to the gym feels about as likely as spotting a unicorn. Can't face another day of staring at the treadmill? HIT to the rescue! It's your get out of gym jail free card, letting you sweat it out from the comfort of well, wherever you are. And let's talk variety. HIT is like the buffet of workouts. You can mix, match, and never get bored. So if you love freedom and hate monotony, and let's be honest, who doesn't? HIT might just be your fitness match made in heaven. And here we roll into benefit number three. Say goodbye to workout boredom. You know how it is. Same old routine, same old playlist, and before you know it, you're mentally redecorating your living room instead of focusing on your reps. But with HIT, it's like having an endless playlist for your workouts. Since HIT is more about how you do it rather than what you do, the world is your oyster exercise-wise. Feel like sprinting? Go for it. Want to pretend you're skipping rope with the energy of a caffeinated kangaroo? Be my guest. Battle ropes, kettlebells, burpees, exercise bikes, rowing machines? Pick your poison. The beauty of HIT is its flexibility. You can switch things up as often as you change your socks. This way, you're not just sticking to a routine, you're making the routine beg for mercy with your never-ending creativity. Keeping things fresh and exciting with HIT means you're more likely to stick with it and less likely to find yourself zoning out and pondering the mysteries of the universe mid-workout. 
Benefit number four has a real zinger. People actually stick with it. Yep, it's not just hearsay or wishful thinking. In a study from the world of health and exercise sciences with 44 real live participants, not just lab rats or hypothetical humans, it turns out folks genuinely prefer HIT over other cardio workouts. Shocking, I know, it's like finding out people prefer ice cream to broccoli for dessert. The logic is pretty straightforward. If you actually enjoy what you're doing, you're way more likely to keep at it. It's the same principle as binge watching your favorite show. You can't wait for the next episode. With HIT, your workouts are the episodes and the plot twists are the varied exercises. No more dragging yourself to the gym out of obligation. You're now sprinting there because you can't wait to see what's next. Who knew exercise could be so addictive? Rolling into benefit number five with a breath of fresh air, literally. We're talking about a turbocharged VO2 max. For those scratching their heads, VO2 max is basically how much oxygen your body can use when you're pushing it to the max. Like running from a bear or trying to catch the bus when you're late. The higher your VO2 max, the more you can handle intense workouts without feeling like you're about to donate your lungs to science. Here's the kicker. HIT is like a secret potion for boosting your VO2 max. Studies have shown that people who get their sweat on with HIT see a much bigger improvement in their oxygen using ability compared to those who stick to the more monotonous steady state cardio. It's like upgrading your body's engine to a more efficient model. So if you want to work out longer, harder, and feel like a superhero while doing it, hits your ticket to a stellar VO2 max and by extension top-notch health. And now for benefit number six, where HIT steps up to the cardio bar and says, I'll have what they're having. We're talking EPOC, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Sounds like a fancy science term because it is. EPOC is your body's way of catching up on oxygen and keeping your metabolism revved up like a sports car after you've finished working out. It's the gift that keeps on giving calorie burning style. Now there's been a lot of buzz about HIT's EPOC, making it sound like it's the secret sauce to turning you into a calorie incinerating machine 24-7. While some of that buzz might be a bit more sizzle than steak, the truth isn't too shabby either. A solid 20 minutes of HIT can give you an afterburn effect that's on par with what you'd get from slogging through 60 minutes of steady state cardio. That's right, HIT lets you burn calories long after you've thrown in the towel, making it the workout equivalent of binge watching your favorite show, but for your metabolism. So less time sweating it out, more time reaping the fiery afterglow of calorie burn. How's that for efficiency? Benefit number seven is where HIT really flexes its muscles in the weight loss championship. Think of it like this. HIT is the underdog that can burn just as much fat as the reigning champ, traditional cardio, but in half the time, or for the overachievers, sometimes even in a third of the time. That's right, studies are throwing their support behind HIT like fans at a comeback concert, showing it can torch calories at the rate of a wildfire, but wait, there's more. Not only does HIT match traditional cardio calorie for calorie in a fraction of the time, but it also has a secret move. It's better at targeting and burning fat. It's like choosing between a scalpel and a sledgehammer for a job that requires precision. So in the time it takes you to watch an episode of your favorite series, you could have completed a HIT workout, burned a bunch of calories, and targeted more body fat than if you had spent that time jogging in place, dreaming about the end of the treadmill marathon. Now let's tackle some of those burning questions you might have about HIT. Question number one, is HIT the secret spell for banishing belly fat and carving out a six pack worthy of superhero status? Let's get real for a sec. While HIT is a powerhouse for torching calories and blasting fat, it's not a magic wand. Picture this, you nail a HIT session feeling like a champion and then celebrate by demolishing a dozen plus one burritos. Spoiler alert, the only thing getting washboarded is your hopes and dreams. Here's the skinny. HIT can absolutely be your ally in the war on fat, but it's like bringing a sword to a battle. You also need a shield, and that shield is a solid diet. If you're gunning for fat loss, your eating habits need to be on point. Think of HIT as a turbo boost for your fat burning efforts, not a cheat code where you can eat whatever and still score abs of steel, just keeping it 100 with you. Question number two, how do I nail this HIT thing without crashing and burning on day one? Ah, the age old question of, how do I not turn into a human puddle of regret? Here's the scoop. Start like you're dipping your toes in the pool, not like you're diving into the deep end with weights tied to your feet. Kick things off with something manageable, like a fan bike or treadmill sprints. Picture it, 30 seconds of giving it everything you've got. 
Imagine you're racing for the last slice of pizza, followed by 30 seconds of chill time, where you can catch your breath and ponder the meaning of life. Aim to repeat this cycle 10 to 20 times depending on how you're feeling. It's like a dance routine, intense moves followed by a brief intermission. As you get more comfortable, or less likely to curse my name, crank it up a notch to one minute of all-out effort followed by one minute of rest. It's all about pacing yourself. Start slow, build up, and before you know it, you'll be hitting like a pro, minus the existential dread. Question number three. To hit or not to hit before lifting those weights? That is the question. Here's a thought. You could totally use hit as a warm-up, keeping it short and sweet. Think four to five minutes. It's like the appetizer before the main course, getting your body all jazzed up and ready to go. But here's my hot take. Save the hit fiesta for the after party. I'm talking about a 10 to 20 minute hit session post weightlifting to really torch those calories and keep your endurance game strong. Let's be real. Hit is like that friend who's a blast to hang out with but leaves you exhausted. It's intense. And because of that, a lot of folks prefer to give it its own spotlight, either separate from the weightlifting session or on those days when the weights are just giving you the silent treatment. Personally, I've found that tagging hit onto the end of my workouts is like hitting the jackpot on the calorie burning slot machine. Plus, there's something sweetly satisfying about seeing those numbers dip on the scale, knowing you've given it your all. So whether you hit it before or after, just make sure you hit it right. And there you have it, our deep dive into high intensity interval training, affectionately known around here as HIT, is officially in the books. Hopefully you're now armed with all the know-how to kickstart your HIT journey. Remember, it's all about discovering those workouts that make your body sing, or at least not scream in agony and actually spark a bit of joy so you're not just counting down the minutes till it's over. The golden rule here? Consistency is your best friend. Stick with it, try to eat something green every now and then, and no, green M&Ms don't count, and always be on the lookout for new ways to challenge yourself. Big thanks to everyone for tuning in. If you found yourself nodding along or even got a chuckle out of this, smash that like button. Got ideas for what you wanna dive into next? Drop us a comment, we're all ears. Keep on moving, stay safe out there, and last but not least, don't forget to flex and glow.